Alright guys, welcome to Dear Dog. This is my weekly show where I cover news of my channel, we check out the whole Minecraft universe, we do the channel spotlight and of course we announce the subscriber of the week. Yeah guys, we've been going through a lot of changes lately. Um, Jeb and Notch are constantly putting out pre-releases, we know that. And basically they said there will be a code freeze and suddenly, yeah, before Minecon, another pre-release. And this time, guys, um, you know, I went with all the pre-releases for the World Tour, you know, to, cha to stay up to date and, you know, show you guys the new stuff. But this time, you know, pre-release 5, uh-uh. You can see it here, the water in lava is completely stupid. Um, I compare it here, <laughs> crazy water to the button right, uh, normal water to the top left, the same goes for the lava, you can make infinite source blocks or infinite lava basically with it, with a cross shaped setup you, as you saw in the first part of the video and the water here, oh my god, look, you can't even stop it. So Jeb already tweeted, he will remove that and we move on. Yeah guys, compromise, this is the title of Dear Talk this week. And when I talk about compromise, well, we have to do some compromise all the time. Um, for example, the world tour. On the one hand, you know, there's my private thing where I like to play legit and yeah, organize stuff and all that. On the other hand, you know, there's the public side of the world tour. You contribute a lot with your comments and your ideas. So, you know, I have kind of, yeah, find a compromise, I have to cater your needs as well. So that's why I you know, try to use editing techniques in the world to try to go back and forth, try to do different things. Um, what comes with that, you know, there are, you know, it's not a straight timeline. You know, I don't show you everything. So for example, um, I did that lately. You guys asked me for the content of the chests. Well. I did that just to give you an impression, but in the end, guys, it makes no sense because I do so many things off camera, uh, on camera, whatnot. You know, it is, it is hard. I try to get a, have a continuity in the whole thing, you know, so you always know what's up and try to um, get you informed. But you know, uh, minor details I cannot always take care of. Um, also, for example, uh, about the ideas I have for the world tour. Here, um, one of these comments, for example, hey, shoutouts to Thick Man's Sam058. <laughs> so, shoutouts, bro. Look, he commented about the sand generators. Um, I personally decided um, I don't want to use a sand generator. This is just a personal decision because I feel it's kind of too crazy. You know, you flick a lever or lever a few times and then you spawn in uh, tons of sand. On the other hand, you know, real hardcore players might say, um, even using XP farms or whatnot, all the other things I do in my world is close to cheating or sucks or whatever. So, you know, there is no clear line. We have, there is a compromise involved as well. We kind of decide what we do, but at some point, you know, um, I decide, okay, I'm not using that or I want to do this and that. And, you know, as long as it is not like hacking in items with an external tool or something, you know, that would be um, something you probably can't discuss about, I'd say. But, you know, all the stuff, there are so many possibilities. You saw it with the updates, you know, now I choose to stay away for pre-5 for a while. Just imagine what it would do for the birdcage. So, you know, I'm trying to find a good compromise and I hope you like it. And that answers the first question. Dear dog, will you use a sand generator in your world? No. Why? I don't know. I just don't want to. Another question I want to answer today is, Dear Doc, can we see your mines? How do we get all the cobble? That is from that guy 6117 um, Well, and it was summed up a lot, so I will answer that. Well guys, um, if you followed the world tour, you've probably seen that all my buildings included digging. And keep in mind, I have the squid farm going on. That is a like a really really huge network of basically tunnels and what is a tunnel or what is a branch mine yeah there you go so from that excavation I did 
inside the perimeter. Keep in mind there were islands. Then I was digging down, I was digging out the slime farm, I was digging out the squid farm as I told you, the normal traps, tunnels, the tunnel of love. And if you keep that in mind and rarely using clean stone. And I tell you guys, I didn't even pick up all the cobble I could have. You know, in huge digs I often let them let it just lay there and despawn. So this is one thing. I didn't use cobble generators or something, as you can see down here. Uh, that would, was one answer. So as I told you, um, also yeah, one thing I need to address: caving. You know, basically each and every play session I do, I go for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes of caving. How do I do that? Well, I just jump into my x-ray device, have a look, you know, I build a quick setup at an area, have a look, um, if there's anything unlit, I quickly dig down, um, I know there's no lava, because I scouted before, so I can even dig straight down, get in there, loot some resources, put some torches down, and then jump stack back up. And that's what you do, you can do it in the water, just place a ladder, and that's what I basically do every day. And after a while, you know, you will, yeah, accumulate uh, quite a lot of resources and you can work with that. That is my strategy. Um, you know, um, shaft mining or um, strip mining, the different mining techniques, Techniques. this is good as well. But I prefer to include it in my, or implement it in my build flow. For example, ESO is trying to do that now as well in his new world with the cave, you know. Um, he's right where the resource is at and makes it a homely place. And this is one approach to the game. You could go mining, you can do whatever. And that's it for the question and answers today. Time to move on to the news. Well guys, first up as usual in the news section I want to talk about some personal news. Um, well, if you look at the subscriber count and we're at 18,000 now, guys crazy I still can't believe it and I want to say hi and welcome to all you new guys about 150 of you are joining every day this is yeah I, I still don't know how to feel it is it is insane um, basically if you don't experience it yourself I'd say you it's hard to describe what kind of a feeling that is you know when it all comes together and it's crazy guys believe me yeah and why am I talking about that? Well guys, um, we are approaching the 22,222 subscriber mark. And for that event, that will be the next special, I basically plan to do um, another competition. Um, I have some ideas in my head. Some creativity will be involved. But this time I want to make sure um, yeah, that also people can participate who are not owning um, a copy of Minecraft at the moment because yeah it will be for sure a copy of Minecraft as a price but some other stuff as well uh, maybe not directly Minecraft related but yeah that's a little surprise um, you will see um, what I want uh, you guys to do please uh, let me know some ideas for competitions don't do it um, I, yeah, I don't want to do it like you know, watch this and this amount of my videos and then there's a code and if you find that, la la la, you know, this is, I find that boring, to be honest and also, to be really honest, I find that it's a kind of a bit fishy, not wanna flame anybody, you know, who's doing that, everybody can do whatever they want on their channel, but you know what I mean, it's like, it says watch this video and if you don't find the clue watch it 10 times over you know what I mean so yeah we don't have to go into that too much I'd say we focus on productive stuff and yeah I had an idea um, I throw uh, ideas on here you know, in here and you let me know what you think one idea was um, I wanna have a creativity contest including my texture pack as I said I'm always looking for cool fan art and nice paintings I could possibly put in there and yeah well I would do a contest for for fan art to be um, yeah in the texture pack um, there will be you know first prizes of course you know for the best best paintings but small prizes would also be to be included in the texture pack and whatnot so I think that is kind of cool I like that also um, I was thinking about maybe starting a new series um, 
I want to throw a name out there today as well. So this is real insider stuff now. <laughs> that is just some ideas I'm bouncing back and forth. And I want to call the show DocM77's Outside the Blocks. So <laughs> yeah, think outside the box, outside the blocks. This is where I would have a look at other games. I talked about that before. Kind of interested in Skyrim. Um, I'm kind of interested in my sports games I've always been playing, kind of uh, FIFA 12 is kind of tickling me. I always played Pro Evolution Soccer, but maybe FIFA, <laughs> you know. So let me know what you think about that. And yeah, for that thing I would basically need a, yeah, an intro. So an intro contest would be cool as well. But that is kind of hard to do for many people, so maybe I'll do that for a separate thing. And my third idea would be yeah, another video creativity contest. Not restricted to Minecraft uh, as such, but maybe a topic or maybe a Minecraft build-off related thing. But that would exclude people who don't have Minecraft. And I actually can see that in my comments quite a lot when people say, hey dog, um, I'm glad I can watch your videos because I, don't, I cannot afford Minecraft. That's true, guys. Or some people say my, my parents don't buy it for me. They don't trust the internet stuff and all that. So, yeah, I, I always try to give away Minecraft keys um, for my contest as well. That's kind of cool, I think, at least. So, guys, this is the ideas, the news for the channel. And now um, I want to address something really important. Um, Another personal thing, um, I want to talk about another YouTuber who ran into some trouble. It seems to be some kind of a common occurrence lately. Yeah guys, I need to talk about the beach hippopotamus. Yeah, I pronounced it halfway decent this way. If you guys remember, I featured him quite a while, while ago in the Dear Dog Show. And this dude had his channel up and running with 20,000 subscribers. And then, yeah, all of a sudden he ran into some crazy problems, he doesn't really know what happened, his channel got locked down, um, he yeah, thinks it may be a spam attack or something, really bad stuff, you should check out the video Beach Hippopotamus was um, terminated, <coughs> you can see it here, check out his channel, I will for sure provide a link, that's his new one and check out the video for the info what went down. Um, what I want to do is, yeah, I want to give shout outs for sure to Beach. Keep it up bro, you know, keep your head up, you know, we will, we will get that. You know, you already made it up to 1,600 subscribers already and I saw a lot of Minecrafters in the community, you know, having you back and helping you out. And I wanna, you know, I posted a bulletin and stuff, but yeah, I wanted to do a special shout out for that because it really sucks, you know, this guy was putting a lot of work in that channel, 20,000 subscribers, if that would happen to me, I basically, I would freak out. Yeah, so, please guys, help him out, check out his new channel, link is in the video description, um, also here in the video I will provide the annotation, but for you guys who are watching from mobile devices and whatnot, please check out the description. Um, help out Beach Hippopotamus to get his yeah, feet back on the ground. We're on a good way, you know, give him some love. And that's it for the personal news. And now time for the Minecraft news. Not much happening at the moment, but I quickly want to address one thing. Well, and the news I wanted to talk about is some kind of sad news. Yeah, <laughs> Minecraft tickets are sold out, guys. So the event is an obvious success. I saw a lot of people running around with capes and I kind of was a bit jealous to be honest. Uh, there are mods, you know, where you can get a cape, but... Eh. So yeah, I was even <laughs> tempted, you know, just to buy the ticket to get a cape, but that would kind of be completely insane. Um, and I can't go, it's just too expensive for me, a trip from Germany to there. Impossible. So yeah. Minecon sold out, but be sure you know, I think CoStar will be there and he will be for sure covering some of the event and also Yoxcast, if you saw the BlizzCon coverage, it was awesome and I'm looking forward to uh, what they do um, at the Minecon. So I'm pretty sure YouTube and all the community, um, the Minecraft community will keep us posted. And that's basically it for this week's news section covering the Minecraft universe. And now basically it's time I once again to do the channel spotlight.
Well guys, last week we featured six channels and I want to do this again this week. I got my list, but the list is getting smaller. I see some lack of channel suggestions lately guys. What is that? So, no. Keep it up guys. I'm happy with your uh, participation in that whole endeavor here. I need your PMs, I need your comments. Keep on doing that and keep in mind, if you check out the channels I featured this week, if you like him, give him some love. If you don't like him, just move on. First up this week, Cube Hamster. Awesome channel, guys. Highly sophisticated redstone stuff. You showed a nice um, horizontal block swapper uh, setup right here. Awesome for pixel art. He showed awesome elevators. You know, that is really high tech redstone stuff. Cube Hamster from the Netherlands. 54 subscribers. I cannot believe that. There must be something wrong. <laughs> Look, he's regularly uploading really, really good content. Not sure what's going on there, so please, guys, check him out. Cube Hamster, awesome channel. Moving on. Next up, Gamer Burton. Cool channel, guys, as well. Um, the main channel of Gamer Burton. So he has a backup channel, pretty smart move, you can see it here, um, in case you lose your channel. I might have to think about that as well. Let me know in the comments guys what you think about it, like a backup channel in case something happens. You never know. Yeah, so he's pro, you can see that. His Minecraft series is very good as well. Um, he sets himself challenges, you know, like right now he completed to make a wheat farm. Um, he's playing Legend, um, he's presenting it in a nice way and he's staying in touch with his subscribers. Problem is, he only has 35. So guys, please, move over there, show him some love if you like his stuff. Oh, and he's using my texture pack I just saw. Good channel, good channel guys. <laughs> Moving on. Number 3 this week. Apple Bule 5. <laughs> Apple Bule 5. Apple Bule 5. I think it's pronounced Apple Bule 5. Awesome channel. It's a um, yeah, SMP channel, I'd say. You know, you see a lot of epic builds, time lapses, cool videos with nice music. You know, it's just some things to, to watch and be impressed. I like channels like that, you know, things where you go, wow, look at this town. That is an Assassin's Creed parkour. You can see right here, awesome stuff. I like it a lot. So, and he's got a goal on here. Here it is, objective. Get elite subs. <laughs> well, guys, get moving. Awesome channel, moving on. Number four this week. Mr. New Guy Gaming. Very cool channel as well. He's doing pro, you know, he's a skilled gamer, you can see that. And lately he even joined forces with Mr. Pixel Tag, and he's a member here, you can see him, of my Minecraft Essentials box and is a very, very highly skilled Minecraft player as well. So those guys combining forces and he's got his, you know, single player series going on. He played Portal uh, 2 as well. Um, very good channel. Um, 319 subscribers only. Pretty sure we can do something about that. Check him out. See if you like his stuff. If yes, you know what you gotta do. Number five this week, Drackle. Very cool channel. Um, it's like, it's very educational if you watch his stuff. For example here, and that might be interesting for many of you guys, he showed how to work with your texture pack, you know, how to change your PNG files with Photoshop. Um, he explains it in a calm and easy to understand uh, way. Um, <laughs> lately he ran into some trouble. It looks like something happened to his house and he's <laughs> lost power for 36 hours. So bro, hope you get out of that mess. In the meantime, guys, we could, you know, cheer him up a bit by showing him some love. 2,100 subscribers, so he's not, like, starting fresh, but he for sure needs some support. Moving on. And last but not least, Bifa 2001, or Bifa 2001. <laughs> That's what you could call it in German. Um, 
awesome channel you know I featured him a while ago but not that many people are watching their dog back in the time and it had not that much power you know to bring some viewers to another channel and I want to take the chance and yeah congratulations buddy 1000 subscribers he's been around on my channel for a long time as well always commenting and being friendly and he's doing great with his own channel he's doing the max maps and goods maps and awesome check him out and this is it for this week's channel spotlight and now it's time to crown the new subscriber of the week yeah guys the channel spotlight I love that part of the show um, personally it's it's a lot of fun to me but I need your help keep that in mind keep on suggesting channels and and I know you do that because I often check the channels I featured I check back after a week or so and see what's happening and then I often see your guys comments saying hey dog sent me and awesome channel I will subscribe and stuff like that that really makes my day guys really you know this is it is awesome for me you know you have to at some stage you set new goals for your channel you know you reach a certain subscriber base or something and then you think about something else you could do and yet this is my little baby I would call it almost you know it is it is awesome to see um, what you ca what you guys can do and I know for a fact because it's not a long time ago you know where I was a small channel with a few hundred subs and I was happy about each and every thumbs up, each and every comment and each and every feedback I got and I know how good it feels and yeah it makes me happy so yeah stop rambling dog next year dog November the 8th and now let's find out who is the new subscriber of the week And it is Ender Maniac. And yeah, why Ender Maniac? Well, Ender Maniac, he took my advice or my yeah, he took my recall for my call for help basically serious in the last Dear Doc episode. I told you guys that it is really getting harder and harder for me to answer comments. I still love and enjoy it, don't get me wrong on that. But uh, it's getting really tough you know if there's a lot of comments I've answered before in several episodes like if people ask for a world download or if people ask is that all legit or maybe sometimes people ask um, can you show this tutorial for the elevator and whatnot and and the maniac basically in the last world tour I checked that I was there I saw it he basically took care of business you know there were people new people new subscribers and I'm very happy about them you know that and yeah he kept helping them out they had questions and he helped me you know he was replying comments basically at the same speed as I was and I like that a lot that's really awesome and I want to call you call out to you guys you know whoever feels like I don't pressure you to do that and you know there will be other ways to get subscriber of the week and all that but if you want to help me out with that it would be much appreciated you know and um, when I see a comment answered by you already I just can give it a smiley or just can say already answered and it saves me a lot of time and I can focus on other questions that were not asked before you know so makes sense right so and the maniac thank you a lot you are the new and official 15th subscriber of the week of dear dog or well basically of dog m77's minecraft world that's it for today guys I hope you liked my choices again for this week. Next year, dog, as I said, November the 8th, 2011, every Tuesday. I'm out. Ender. Bye.